Wills and inheritance touch so many people in so many different ways. Whether you're in a first marriage, whether you have a second marriage, his children, your children, there, there are so many dynamics and we're starting to see a lot of fighting, a lot of battles between brothers and sisters over mom and dad's money and things. I once had a client that came into my office, a baby boomer client with his wife, and I thought they were very, very wealthy based on the car they had driven and the house that they lived in and the area of the city they lived in. And when I asked what he did, he said, I'm not working right now. And, and I said, Are you, what did you do? And his wife says, Les, Harry's not going to tell you this, but he's a waiter. And I said, Harry, what restaurant are you waiting in? And she says, no, not that kind of waiter. He's waiting for his inheritance from his mom. When she dies, he gets it all because he's an only child. So we coined the word waiters for a lot of the baby boomers that are just waiting for that inheritance. I'm not a litigation lawyer, but I see... Uh, I get the phone calls, I do a lot of radio and, and television call-in shows, and, and I hear a lot of what's going on. And there, there's one story um, uh, from our book, which um, it was a, a, told to us by the brother who was part of this situation between the sister and the dad. Dad was very, very sick in the hospital, and he was, he was dying, and the kids knew he was dying. The kids knew he, that he was going to die soon. They made a promise to each other that in front of dad, they would never talk about anything to do with money. The brother told me, he said, last one night we were there and dad was very, very ill. And my sister, we were holding dad's hand at his bedside. And my sister started to, to scream, dad, what about the house? I'm getting the house, right, dad? Aren't you getting the house, dad? If you want, I can get a lawyer to come in, my, come in the hospital right now. And, 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 and he'll make a new will where I get the house. I get it, right, dad? And the brother said, Les, it's, it's as if my father had died twice. Once when he heard my sister's selfish outburst and the next day when the doctor pronounced him dead. As well as being a uh, Wills lawyer, I'm also a professional songwriter with a couple of songs on the radio. And after my mom passed away, I, I wrote a song called Photos in a Drawer. And I often will give that song to clients about to send a lawyer's letter to their brother or sister and say, look, you know, before you send this letter, maybe... I Maybe music can do something that law can't. Maybe it can bring out an emotion in you. Maybe you'll bring back some childhood memories and realize that once you send that lawyer's letter to your brother, the relationship may never be the same between you and your brother. I was on a radio show in California, and a, a woman, they played my song on the radio uh, as I was talking um, before I come on to the show, uh, and the woman said, I pulled over on the highway, and I called my sister because after hearing your song, I realized that was part, she was part of my childhood. We grew up together, and I don't want to lose what I grew up with.